most of my friends, their daughters were getting married and having babies and here I was dealing with oncology and reconstruction. Of course, I was positive, so it was mixed feelings. And then I proceeded to look into what the options were. I had my surgery in February, and then, shockingly, but I had turned 29 in August, and she felt a lump in her breast, and she was diagnosed with stage two cancer. So when I was initially diagnosed, I thought it was sort of like a dream or a movie, or I was just like watching something completely disconnected from my own self. A spiral worth of doctor's appointments and just kind of going through it without kind of recognizing like the immense understanding of what cancer even meant. Because I was BRCA positive, I now had to do a bilateral mastectomy. Um, and also because I was BRCA positive, I needed to do um, a more aggressive approach. And that's why chemo came into place and that's why radiation came into place. So it definitely changed the, the course of my, of my diagnosis. Watching my sister go through chemo and radiation and really almost losing control for an entire year, was it, it's scary and it's, it's hard to watch. I'm glad that I was able to do it on my terms and kind of at the pace that I needed. And also, my surgery options were very different from my sister's because I had the time to do it. On one hand, being their mother, so comforting them and dealing with them. And on the other hand, it was just the most heartbreaking, difficult thing. And just, you know, you go between test to test and procedure to procedure, and you just do it. With a torturous diagnosis came um, sort of a beauty um, related to like the next chapter in our lives. And nothing can stop us. Mm -hmm. It was fight like a girl. Mm -hmm. Like a woman. <laughs> yeah, like a woman. <laughs> <laughs>